Hi guys, Sipot here. Welcome to my lab. So we recently did a community blind test. So I blind tested seven IEMs ranging from really cheap ones uh, to really expensive ones. Um, and I let you guys vote uh, what you think is the best sounding out of the bunch. And uh, now we're going to reveal the winners for the blind test. Really exciting video. Stay tuned. But of course, we review budget fi to mid fi or the gear. So if you're into that, consider subscribing. Okay, so for those who haven't viewed the last video, of course, links up here. Pause this video and view it right up here. But basically, what we did is I recorded with my Zoom H5. Of course, it is a ghetto kind of rig. Hopefully, in the future, I will have a better rig to have a sort of a more accurate um, kind of recording. But uh, for now, Zoom H5 and 7 IEMs with uh, just one tune. And I played some snippets of the song and uh, let you guys listen and let you guys vote. And for those of you guys who haven't uh, viewed the video, I will play one round of it starting now. Okay, so hopefully you have chosen one letter there as well for those of you guys who just uh, view this video now. And of course, uh, as I mentioned in my previous description, um, this is uh, of course a take it as you will kind of test. Firstly, my recording rig is of course not you know the, the most high tech rig and the audio is compressed uh, by the video. The audio is compressed again by YouTube and of course uh, each of you guys, the viewers have different um, kind of setups. So again, this is a sort of a take it as you will kind of test, but uh, still really, really interesting for me to sort of reveal the winner here in the blind test. But before that, uh, let's do the reveal of the earphones that's included in this test. Really excited about this. So the earphones included in this test is the Fearless S4. That is a $300 IEM from Fearless, of course, Linsole Audio. Um, next is TFZ S2, one of my favorites here in this channel. Next is the Yin UV2. Next is the Shure 846, the most expensive one. It's around $1,000. Next is the KZ ZSN. So this is the cheapest one. It's around $12. Next is the KZ AS10. It's around $50. Um, sort of their flagship IEM right now of KZ. And next is the CRN V30. Um, recently reviewed, of course. Um, it's around $30. It ranges from around $12 to around $1,000. So that is the IEMs that is included in this test. Let's go first with the results so as you can see guys the most voted is uh, letter E it's 41.6% uh, right here almost half of all the votees there's also 125 responses of course um, quite a sizable I would say hopefully in the future there will be more so yeah for those of you guys who hasn't voted um, of course stay tuned in this channel so you can you know um, contribute in this kind of blind test um, the next one would be uh, letter G, with, which is 21.6%. Uh, um, so that is also pretty high. That's the second one. Third one is uh, the letter C, 22.6%. Uh, and fourth one is uh, letter A. So that is sort of your top four. The rest is uh, not almost existent in terms of the voting. Uh, but of course, yeah, the next one would be D and the last one would be B and uh, the super last one is letter F. I don't think there's somebody who voted with F. So interesting, uh, first is E, next is G, next is C, and next is A. So I'm gonna sort of reveal uh, what those are later, but let's go first uh, with the responses here. So this guy voted for letter C and I mentioned TFZS2 for letter C. Um, okay. And the next would be uh, letter G. What I am, do you think it is? It says Fearless S4 for letter G. Not not a bad uh, guess right there. Next is uh, letter C again, TFZ T2. So there's uh, quite a sizable uh, voting for letter C at the first part of uh, the voting. Next is letter E and uh, I mentioned Sure, um, a Sure branded IEM. 
Next is letter G, could be Tin Audio T2 for letter G, muffled. Next is letter E, a quite flat um, and a short 846 for uh, letter E. Okay, next is letter D and the why is it the winner? Uh, this guy says D is winner because it's the most flat for me. The bass is still there but not so boomy and the other detail can still be heard. For F and C is the most boomy for me. The second, uh, third place is, is B. Other have bright sound. So yeah. So really interesting what this letter E is. <laughs> I think you uh, or I think you're already hyped about this. Letter D, um, KZZSN for letter D. Next would be letter E, um, IBASO IT01. So definitely there's a lot of praises uh, of the letter E right here. Okay, so before I go and uh, you know check out uh, more um, comments right here, I want to reveal already the winner. So for you guys, what do you think is the letter E? Let us reveal it now. So these are the IEMs uh, that is included with the corresponding letters. Super excited to sort of reveal this. So letter A is actually the CFZ S2. Uh, letter B is the Fearless uh, S4. Letter C is the V30. Um, letter D is the Yin Yu V2. Um, e is the KZ ZSN. Um, F is the KZ AS10. Uh, G is the Sure 846. Okay, so yeah, from what you have seen, guys, uh, of course, the winner is letter E. The winner is the KZZSN. The next is G, um, which is the Sure 846. The third is the TRN V30. And the uh, fourth is the TFZS2. So that is sort of uh, the, the ranking right here. Okay, so for me, uh, of course, really surprising that the uh, letter E won in this uh, comparison, of course. Definitely, uh, I would say that uh, in terms of uh, my recording, the letter E indeed has a very likable kind of sound. I was uh, more surprised by the letter C actually because the letter C um, sort of uh, it's quite easy to see that it uh, is warmer than uh, what I would like personally. So yeah, maybe it's also the preference of the viewers here, like a more bassy kind of sound, a more sort of a fuller feeling kind of sound. Um, of course, the 846, yeah, just uh, you know, just to let you guys know, um, I'm using the white filter for the 846, um, so it's indeed a little bit brighter because I'm riding my 846 in balance, so I want it to be a little bit brighter, especially for my uh, audio player. So yeah, it, it has a, around like plus 2 dB at the top, so, so that's why maybe it has more clarity than the usual. Um, of course, the S2, I was hoping that uh, it will be in the top uh, of the, the list. Uh, but definitely really surprising um, that the ZSN and the V30 is uh, among the top four right here. So yeah, that is uh, the winners. Um, first is uh, again the KZ ZSN. Second is the 846. Um, third is uh, the TRN V30. And the last is the S2. Of course, this is a take it as you will kind of test. Of course, uh, hopefully I will have a better rig also in the future. Uh, but uh, still really interesting for me that uh, that is the winner when I was uh, sort of um, reviewing uh, each day the results of each uh, voting. Really interesting that the KZZSN is on top, even uh, on top of my Shure 846. So, okay, so yeah, that is, uh, we have 125 responses. Of course, uh, thanks for everybody, for those who um, commented and voted here. Really a big help, of course, for this kind of blind test. And uh, what do you guys think of the blind test? Is it uh, really interesting for you? KZZSN won this blind test. Of course, it is a take it as you will. Um, kind of blind test. Uh, I won't give any more comments about it. Uh, it is just a test for you guys uh, But hopefully this is uh, still quite an interesting kind of test and also uh, maybe you have an idea on how the IEMs also sound like um, of course again This is not the most resolving rig. There's YouTube compression. There's video compression um, Of course, there's also uh, the gear that you guys are using Maybe it's just a phone or maybe it's just a, you know a speaker in your phone yeah, it will really matter so there, definitely there's a lot of variables here involved but uh, still hopefully you like this you know kind of uh, test and content and uh, still i would say it's still quite interesting even for me um so hopefully you kind of like this and of course if you like this leave a like and of course uh, let me know what you think of this test uh did uh, the kzzs answer price you as the top pick here in the blind test and of course uh if you have other suggestions in how I can improve this blind test, um, I would like to have more, of course, but uh, I would like to make it, you know, more um, fun in the future and maybe more accurate uh, in the future if I can. And uh, of course, uh, subscribe for more content like this. Uh, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video.